Talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, oh, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Are you clean, crisp? Are you feeling gyre? Let's talk. But first, how's the mic sound? Does it sound all right? I'm trying to trying to work some things out. Got a new setup coming. So, yeah, sorry for the blurred background, but y'all don't want to hear about that, right? All I want to hear about that. You want to hear about the title in the video. I understand. Listen, check this out. Post office is getting rid of contractors, and that's a good thing. And I'm happy about that. I'm happy that they finally decided to step up. There's an article on the um, Postal Times talking about the people, you know, the contractors getting upset because, hey, they finally getting kicked out. And I'm like I said, I'm, I'm happy anytime we get our work back. Uh, I'm going to read a little short clip, short, short clip. All right. Uh, independent truckers losing contracts with USPS. Uh, changes in a federal business are rippling down to small mom and pop local entrepreneurs. The United States Postal Service is ending contracts with local companies that carry mail from post office to post office including one family-owned business in Highland, which is operated for three generations. They're, they're complaining now. They're saying, oh, my business is gone. Uh, he said that rumors have been flying around uh, among contract truckers for two weeks, and they received the notice that they were going to be uh, pretty much eliminated. And I'm okay with that. Why? Because it's our work. It's our work. <laughs> I don't know if this is something that the union fought for or DeJoy just said he can't afford them. All irrelevant. One of my partners uh, asked me a couple days ago, he was saying, hey man, uh, there's been some rumors, you know who you are, uh, going around about, you know, we're gonna get some more routes. Well, here's the article. There it is. <laughs> it blurred out, that was cool. But yeah, the article's there and it says that they're getting rid of the contractors. Now, is this gonna be helpful for everybody overall? Eh, I don't know. But it's gonna be definitely helpful because a lot of our truck drivers were concerned because of this new uh, postal vehicle operator position that came out. Or it might be that the postal vehicle operator position is the one that's taking over all the local contractors. Which in any case, any case, as long as the work stays with us. All right. So that was just one little topic that I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm going to be bringing my partner back on eventually with the loud mouth. My homeboy, uh, Mr. P. Yeah, because he has some things he wanted to share. Just let it be known the views that are expressed by Mr. P are not those of this channel. Okay. <laughs> but... Seriously, if um, anybody has any questions, please leave that in the comment section because this is what we do. I did have another topic I wanted to talk about because we are losing more and more machines. Everybody is emailing me saying, hey, this machine is being taken out of our facility what's going on and I'm like I don't know you nor your facility so I don't know what's going on you tell me um I don't really know the different types of machines that you guys work with that's number one and each machine obviously affects a different craft um but I did notice that one of the machines was being taken out of our facility I guess two days ago and from what I understand, it's something that the mail handlers uh, use. So that means one less position or two less positions, you know, for whatever that machine did. Where are these machines going? I have no idea. I haven't gotten that far. And that's why I don't really like to talk about too much because that's like an open ended puzzle that you just kind of leaving out there. 
But the good thing is that you guys are sharing that information because when there's enough information me for me, I can kind of collect that data and say, okay, all right, I see what's going on here. This part of the country, they're really going to be starting to put in the big facilities. So that's why that little facility doesn't need that equipment anymore. Who knows? But if you guys have information about your facilities, that any changes that are coming, share that with me. I have a lot of information that I have here and I wanna put the information out because obviously I was um, not feeling well for a few days, but I wanna collect the right data. I don't really like sharing information unless I'm pretty sure about it. Jay, what about our contracts? The contracts are coming up. They are in negotiations. Uh, the letter carrier contract, you guys have a great contract coming up. <laughs> I am lying. No, honestly, I don't know much about it. Um, the person that usually sends me information about the mail, um, the letter carriers contract, hasn't been able to get very much because I don't think they've moved very far. Um, as far as the APWU contract, they're in the beginning phases of it. And like I said in my last video, I'm hoping people go and step in there, get your voices heard. Uh, as far as the mail handlers contract, that's kind of a miscase thing and I don't want to step on our feet with that um, And it, uh, that doesn't look too uh, healthy either Sheesh. So is there any good news here, Jay? Yeah, we're still alive and the post office is still open and A few years ago people were saying that the post office was gonna close in July Remember that? Yeah, they were like, oh post office is done. They're gonna they're not gonna make it to the end of the year We're still here we're still ticking. So there's always a few naysayers that say, hey, we're not gonna be here. But we are here and we're still ticking. Times seem troubling and rough right now, but we're still making it through. Um, and that's pretty much the extent of my video. That That's pretty much it. It's pretty dry video. But um, again, that's some information and that information is definitely useful to some people and the people that it's useful for know who they are. All right, this is JH. Y'all let me know if this microphone sounds any better. All right, we out.